For over 50 years, we have calculated the strength of hurricanes on a scale from one to five. But as the storm seemed to be getting stronger and stronger, could it be time to bring in a category six hurricane? The five Steph Saffir Simpson scale started in the 1970s, but now two scientists from the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory say climate change is making the strongest storms even stronger. They're suggesting the category six label could go to any tropical cyclone with winds of at least 192 miles per hour but only five storms have surpassed that since 2013. Meteorologist Andrew Brightman joins us with a little bit more perspective. A Andrew, yeah. how could this change how we measure these storms? Well, really, it's going to come down to just trying to communicate the threat better, and that's what I want to get into here when we talk about adding a category to the Saffir Simpson scale. So let's just go over that quickly here. It's a wind scale. It just helps to describe a storm strength. We start off with a category one storm. Once it gets to 74 miles per hour, then it becomes officially a hurricane. Category 174 up to 95 miles an hour. Then we get to a category two. It's extensive damage. Those winds go from 96 up to 110 miles an hour above there. That's when we officially reach a major hurricane category three of 111 to 129 miles per hour. And then from there we're to a category four where winds go to 130 up to 156 miles an hour. And then above that, this is the creme de la creme when it comes to hurricanes. It's at least right now is a category five storm with winds of 157 miles per hour or greater. And here, when it comes to the U.S., we've only seen four land falling category five hurricanes in our entire recorded history, which kind of gets to what you'll see I'm talking about where I'm not sure if this category six is completely necessary. So what is the proposal? It would need a uh, storm would need winds over 192 miles an hour to reach that category six threshold. Now the researchers propose it because because of climate change, our climate's getting warmer, ocean waters are getting warmer. So we're going to tend to see over time. It's not a direct correlation, but they are related again, seeing stronger hurricanes. And as Andy and Brian were talking about, we have seen five storms reach would reach that strength of over 192 miles per hour. We've only seen one in the Western Hemisphere. That was Hurricane Patricia back in 2015 had winds of 200 and 15 miles an hour. The other four, they're all super typhoons in the Western Pacific. Only one of those storms actually made a landfall with 195 mile per hour winds. That was Goni, just devastating the Philippines. And then just bring it back here to the Atlantic Basin. We've actually never seen a landfalling storm of over 100 in 92 miles per hour. The Labor Day hurricane in the Florida Keys and Dorian are the two strongest storms in the Atlantic Basin. So what, what am I trying to say here? It's just when it comes to communicating the threat, when it comes to hurricanes, the biggest problem is not, oh, people are going to say it's only a category five storm. It's always talking about the threats outside of the cone of uncertainty when we talk about these storms moving on shore, not people taking the threat of this storm. We need a category six to make it seem even more dangerous than already is. Again, a category five hurricane is catastrophic. And again, it just I think it could potentially confuse people if we were to add another category. But again, we've never really even seen this type of strong storm in the Atlantic Basin in our recorded history.